have a three, four aspects of definition of the great shepherd. He is first the good shepherd. And then the good shepherd, that he said, he said he lays down his life. Mm -hmm. When you look at the good shepherd, you one thing that comes to mind, an individual that comes to mind, is David. Mm -hmm. David said, "The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want." Uh, David said that the Lord prepares the table before me and also provide my provisions. Mm -hmm. The good shepherd makes sure that everything is there for the sheep. The good father always makes sure his family has what they need. Mm -hmm. Plenty of food on the table, a roof over their head, mm -hmm. and uh, House is warm. Uh, good shepherd. Uh, Sometimes we work two jobs in order to make sure that the family had the necessities of life. Come on, come on. Can I get with this? Amen. Now, uh, a shepherd that's not interested in the flock. Uh, there's a shepherd that drags along, right. uh, make do, mm. uh, not enough bread in the house, bread one day and next day poke and beans, mm. poke your mouth out. <laughs> Can I get a witness? Uh, poke and bricks. Poke your mouth and grit your teeth. Y'all gonna stay with me? But a good shepherd makes sure that everything is in place for the family. I would tell you, Pastor Taylor, uh, back there, I think it was in the office, that when I was, uh, when I was uh, a young man and had some children at had four children to feed and a wife to feed and a house to take care of. I had two suits. And those suits were mismatched. You could wear either piece with any suit. One day I wore a whole suit. Next day I wore a suit, coat, and a top. Next time I wore a suit, pants, and a different top. Are y'all with me? Had two pairs of shoes, mm -hmm. a pair of black ones, and a pair of brown ones. Amen. Black and brown go with anything. <laughs> Y'all stay with me. I'm talking, I'm talking about a shepherd that takes care, I'm not bragging, but a shepherd that takes care of the family. I made sure that my shoes, my children's shoes, didn't have holes in them. Got to go with this today. And, and make sure that the pants that the boys wore didn't have holes in the knee, but now today they got holes in the knee, holes in the thigh. <laughs> 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 That's the Can I go with this? I remember, I remember uh, we had holes in the knee, I was ashamed to wear. But now they are proud of the word holy shoe, holy pants. Can I get a little bit? I'll tell you the thing, show them the chain on it. And, 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 and the girl, my, my girl, I only had one girl, and, she, and, and that one girl, she was like the baby of the family. She got almost anything she wanted. Can I get a witness? My wife and myself both, we spoke, we spoiled her. Why? Well, because she was the only girl. Right. And she deserved to be spoiled. Yeah. We had to be kind of hard on them, not heads. The boys, y'all. Call we call them not heads, the boys. Be a little tough on them because they sometimes was not always cooperative. Right. 
Shit. <laughs> Are y'all with me? I know some of you, some of you parents don't know what I'm talking about. You probably don't want to say amen. Because it happened. And we can't get around it. Isn't that right? But, but, but when it comes down to the, 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 the position of a shepherd, Come on. Uh, a shepherd has a big responsibility. Shepherd has to make sure that the sheep has a good grazing pasture. Right. Are y'all with me? The shepherd has to also make sure that the sheep did not uh, get around loud streams. Well, that was the Russian water. Are y'all gonna stay with me? Because Russian water disturbed the mind of the sheep, and the sheep uh, uh, flesh was not as good as it should be when it's around Russian stream. Not only that, but uh, when the sheep is around Russian stream. The fair was not always good fair. Right. The wool was not uh, as good as it could be. When it's around Russian streams and a lot of noise. So the shepherd had to make sure that the sheep had a pleasant environment. Uh-huh. Are y'all gonna stay with me? Uh-huh. And so some of my brothers and sisters that was the job of the shepherd. And so, and so now when we look at, at the word shepherd here, the Bible says that he is the great shepherd. Yeah. And that he laid down his life for his sheep. Yeah. If you remember the story of David, David had to put his life on the line. That's right. Because of the danger of watching over the sheep. Yeah. David said in the 23rd Psalm, year where I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, I fear no evil. Because there was uh, dangerous animals lurking in the valleys of where David was born. Yeah. So David knew that he had to go through that valley and take the sheep, but yet he put his life on the line. Can I get a witness? Yeah. And so, brothers and sisters, so Jesus said that I am the good shepherd. Good shepherd. And I put down my life for the sheep. Is that right? Yeah. And we ought to be glad, we ought to be thankful that God was willing to put his son out here on the line for us. Uh, for our lives yeah. and our soul. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. He said. He said. Yet, uh, he has not. That he has not appeared yet to be the sheep shepherd. Mm-hmm. But we heard him saying in the book of Hebrew that he is the chief shepherd. Right. Which means that there is no other shepherd like him. Yeah. Chief shepherd means. That he is the shepherd over all other shepherds. Right. These little folks around here call themselves shepherd. Jesus is saying, I want them to know that I am the chief shepherd. Yeah. And everything that goes wrong must come through me. Yeah. It must come by me. Uh-huh. In other words, he's saying that everything that happened in this world must be approved by me. Say whatever you ask in my name, my Father will grant it unto you. Uh-huh. Little words saying that I am the chief of shepherds. Uh-huh. There is no other shepherd like me. Yeah. There is no other shepherd that will lay down their lives for their sheep. Yeah. He said all the other shepherds are just simply hirelings. Yeah. When danger come, they will lay down their sword and lay down their job and ran from the danger that they're about to face. He said, but I am the good shepherd. Yeah. I put my life 
on the line for mankind. Yeah. What a mankind lacks in a life. Jesus even said, there are some that may not even come to me after I lay down my life. But I lay down my life for all of those that will come, can come. Yeah. He said, come unto me all of ye that are laden and heavy burden. Yeah. And I will be a burden barrier unto you. Yeah. You know, I remember and I thank God that Jesus carried my bread on to Calvary. He didn't have to do it, but he did. But I was got all up in my sins and on my way to hell, Jesus carried it all on to Calvary. Yeah. Can I give a witness to the day? And so I want to tell you the day that Jesus carried your bread on and go call to Calvary. Yeah, Jesus went to Calvary yeah. to die for you and me. Yeah. And I thank God today that He was willing to give His life for a yeah. old bouncer like me. Yeah. I thank God today that, that I changed my way and told Him, Lord, you didn't die in vain. Yeah. I heard your word. And I came on and said, what shall I do in order to be saved? Yeah. Can I tell you this today? I said, my brother and my sister, I want you to know that he is the good shepherd. Yeah. Oh, first of all, and then he is the great shepherd. Can I tell you this? And I want to tell you, and I give you a little bit of a that he holds uh, yeah. and that he is the seat the chief shepherd <laughs> am I right about it? Yeah. he is the chief shepherd yeah. uh, also, he's coming back again uh, isn't that right uh, he's coming uh, back again uh, for you and me uh, he died on Calvary uh, isn't that right yeah. uh, he's coming back again uh, for you and me uh, Chief Shepherd, when he come back, and all of these little shepherds who run around here today, saying that they are the shepherd of the flock. I want you to know today, all I am is an under shepherd. All that I am is an overseer of God's church. And God, all right, I want you to know that God Almighty. The great shepherd and the sheep shepherd is coming back soon. It got all right. When he died on Calvary, it got all right. I want to be the guy for your sin and my sin. But the Bible says in the book of the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-seven, verse fifty-two, and verse. So when he got up out of the grave, the saints of God got out of the grave and got out of the grave and went downtown Jerusalem and showed themselves to the people downtown. It reminded me that one day, day this old body is going to go in the grave and this old soul is going to get up on the judgment day. It's going to get out of the grave and God.
need to spend some more time with Jesus. Maybe you'll 